This is Rhonda with Halls from Home. And today I'm going to show you how we are making a tissue paper flower wreath. And um, there's a couple different ways that I like to make tissue paper flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those. Um, and I'm starting with a basic, uh, I, I don't know if this is actually a grapevine wreath. Because <laughs> it has these twigs. So I don't think it's a grapevine, right? I don't know what it is. I found it. I love the, the branchy look on it. Um, but you can use any kind of base, whether you want to use the metal hoops or a grapevine wreath. Um, so we're going to start with our basic tissue paper flower. This one looks a little bit like a hydrangea. And these ones I actually bought pre-made. So they come in this, like this right here. And there was like 10 in a package. And they're pre-cut, pre-wrapped with this ribbon and it was actually a banner. But I said, you know, I think I can use that banner for a wreath. So I went ahead and um, when you start your paper tissue flower, you're just gonna open it up like this. And you do have to be a little bit gentle because these tissues are so soft and easy to rip. So I'm just gently pulling them apart one layer at a time. Now this one has two layers, so I'm gonna just gonna come in here and see how it starts to get that little scrunchy look here. And we're just gonna do that with every layer. And so there starts our tissue paper flower. What's really nice on this one because it comes with a little bit longer string, I'm gonna go ahead and attach these ones to my wreath without any glue. I'm just gonna take them and find a spot and tie them to my wreath. So I've already done that with these two and I've also put in a couple faux pieces of greenery just to add a little bit of color. Um, I'm going with kind of a neutral soft base, our look here. Um, okay, so this little tissue paper flower, I have a tutorial on how to make this and I'll just briefly go over it with you. Um, when I was on my flight back from Magnolia Market meeting Chip and Joanna, they had a paper tissue flower wall, and um, it's right now one of my most popular pins on Pinterest. Well, I was on the airplane and I had a napkin and I thought, how can I duplicate that same tissue paper wall without a lot of work? And they were fairly big. So I took a napkin and I started ripping them into pieces about this big and it just basically started wrapping um, around each other but I started with a base so here I kind of just twirled the base um, tissue into kind of a little swirl and I've, I connected it to each other so I just kind of swirled that and then I start taking my tissue paper and I, I crumple it around it as I hold on to a base down here which you can see here. And uh, again, I have a full tutorial on that on my blog, but uh, I just went ahead and tied it off with string and it's all on there fairly good. You know, it depends on maybe what you're using this for, but I wouldn't worry about putting this on a wall or, I mean, it, it, it'll last, it, it's pretty good. So then um, now that I have my string here, I can go ahead and put it on my wreath wherever I want it. But right now I'm going to attach um, this white one and if you have little fingers <laughs> in little spots it does make it a little bit difficult but we're gonna um, try it out and what might work really well is if you have oh, there it came through I just gotta grab it through here okay I'm gonna find my other end, there it is. One thing I will say when you're doing this, um, I'm not, when I make my wreaths, I'm not going for matchy patchy or like real perfectionism where everything is symmetrical and right in the perfect spot. I just think that you can overthink it and then it's like for me, it wouldn't be super fun. So um, I try to keep my projects as fun as possible. So I think maybe we will do, 
So if that one's on the inside, I think I might want one here. And then I think I'm gonna put one here. And I'm gonna probably grab maybe a couple more pieces of greenery um, and stick them in here. And then that will be my wreath. Just this basic right here. If you want, you could maybe add a bow um, just for a little bit more, or you can drape a banner across, you know, if you wanted to say like happy spring or happy new year or something like that. But um, for this one, I'm just keeping it really basic. Um, you could use this kind of as a wedding wreath, spring wreath. Um, this is kind of a year round. If you like pink, you can change out your tissue papers for different colors. Um, and I'll give some links to some different um, places that you can get these pre-made tissues. And you can also buy um, flowers already made, like at Etsy or other places online, Amazon, and, and you can just start attaching them to your wreath. So if you don't want a lot of work, just buy your flowers pre-made and then just attach them and, and yeah, just have a little fun with it.